Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at another use for GarageBand, but to begin with, we're going to start off with YouTube. The project we're looking at doing today is we're going to take a YouTube trailer for a game, a movie, whatever you so choose, and we're going to move it into GarageBand and completely remaster the soundtrack. Let's get started. So to begin with, I've found the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare live action trailer. And um, I've got the link up here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this video really quick. Um, we're not going to be using this for anything but just for the sound to time things up. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link, so Command C. Once I've copied the link, I'm going to come over to a program that we've got handy to us, which is called iSkySoft Free Downloader. All right, so we're going to go ahead and paste the URL. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and paste that. It's now going to download the trailer here. Um, you're going to see it progress through. It'll tell you some of the details of what the quality of the video is, what type of video it is once it's done, all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and let this finish up. Okay, now that we've downloaded this, we can go to the Downloaded tab. And we can see all the things that we've downloaded recently. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and find the video file for this. And the way to do that is I go ahead and select it. And now I'm going to right click anywhere on the blue area here. And I'm going to go to show downloaded file. So now that's going to bring up my iSkySoft folder where I've got all of the different videos saved that I've downloaded. So here it is. This is the official Call of Duty one. All right, we're going to move that off to the side. That's going to come in handy in just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and close iSkySoft, close YouTube, and I'm going to go over to GarageBand. Long while ago, they used to have an actual soundtrack feature in here that you could choose. It was like a movie project, actually. Um, they've taken that out. Easy way to get around that is we go ahead and just click an empty project, and we go choose. In the empty projects, we can go ahead and bring up just a microphone to begin with. All right, go ahead and click off my 1, 2, 3, 4 and my metronome. And now, this is the beauty of it all. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this movie right into GarageBand here. So it's an MP4 format, brings it right in. And you can see it brings up a preview right away. We're not going to use that immediately, but we will in a bit here. And you can see that I've now got my garage band, or I'm sorry, I've got my Call of Duty movie or trailer in here. Let's go ahead and see how long this is. There we go. We can get to the end. And we've got everything in here. We shrink this down just so we can see the whole project. Minute and 40 seconds. All right, excellent. Now we can go ahead and get to work. We're going to remaster this live action trailer from scratch. Now to begin with, just to get some ideas and timing of things, we may leave in the audio here, but eventually what's going to happen is I'm going to take this audio and I'm going to completely get rid of it. And then I'm going to bring in my own music, my own sound effects, and uh, put those to use. Now for your use here, we have uh, actually the, uh, bring up my preview here, shrink that down so we can see exactly what's going on on the screen while things are happening while we're timing out our music so this is a great way to go ahead and scrub through the video and time everything out uh, this is very busy very busy video so um, it's going to be a major undertaking to remaster this one okay and uh, what I'm going to do is little by little just start adding in the music and sound effects that I'm going to use first bet is probably to find a new audio track or soundtrack to put in the background um, that fits this genre of movie trailer here. Unless I'm completely looking to create a new kind of feeling for a movie trailer. I'm going to leave you to those steps on your own here. Uh, just know that um, as you go ahead and go through this and time it all out, you're going to be creating a lot of different layers here going on, and you definitely will be using the volume to fade things in and fade things out. So don't forget about your volume bar here so you can create different fades in and fades out. And that's what we've got planned here for today. Um, thank you for joining us again with another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.